Hmm. Balance, huh? Yeah, unsurprisingly, uh, war, or this, yeah, this whole war is not going to be resolved just by talking to uh, the goddess of order. Uh-oh, mysterious voice. Hey, it's... Sephiran, who's been mysteriously absent all this time. Yes, this was. I think Ike is talking about uh, something that kind of came up in Path of Radiance, which is, feels like ages ago. Uh, but there was a battle where the Black Knight showed up, and then Sephiran showed up. And Sephiran's like, as long as I'm here, the Black Knight's not going to touch you, Ike. Right? And he shot a meaningful look at the Black Knight, who was like, uh, yeah, okay, I'm out of here. Hmm. Looks like we've got the guy who's been orchestrating everything finally out in the open. Okay, he's admitting it. Ike is just coming out with a straight question, and Sephiran's firing back with a straight answer. <laughs> oh man, Ike.
See, I feel like in most Fire Emblem games, you're not going to get a main character who will say, even to an arch villain, I'm going to make your death as painful as I know how. Hmm. Well, well. That's a interesting reveal. Sort of. Leron of Leron's Medallion, the medallion that housed the goddess Yune. The medallion also known as the Fire Emblem. Uh, named for this guy. This is him. Which is... kind of out of nowhere? But, uh, yeah, we've got fight to the death. Um, let's see. First of all, we did get a couple of new units here. Uh, we did get Gareth, who, again, showed up for, like, two seconds in Path of Radiance. Uh, uh, we've also got Nasir. Uh, they were both on the in the battle in the previous chapter or previous part, uh, and if they survive, they automatically join. Uh, I mm, the question is, do I want to bother putting them in? I mean, I guess in practical terms, they are more powerful than. Uh, Kurth, Naga, and Ina. Uh, they're a little slow, though, and that's kind of an issue. Yeah, It's probably fine. Um, let's see. Outfits. Oh, we do have a conversation. After all this time. <laughs> This deep into the end game. Just, uh, oh yeah, by the way, they've got... They've also got the power of the goddess on their side. Oh, the power of goddess and anime. Damn, these guys are going to be unstoppable. Uh, let's see, I do want to do a little skill management. Uh, I don't need Dragon Foe anymore. That's not worth anything. Uh, what can I put on instead? Uh, I do need someone to have Nile, so we'll put that on Rolf. Because Rolf has huge attack range, uh, he'll be fine. Uh, just a little bit of bonus experience to hand out. I got plenty I could hand out, really. Um, not a whole lot of characters who actually need it. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll give some to Nakaya. Why not? That's magic and resistance maxed out. Uh, anytime she gets speed is good, even though uh, her numbers are fine. Okay, see, there we go. That was just enough to max out everything but strength, which she doesn't strictly need. Um... Yeah, okay. We'll do this first, Naki. Why not? All 
Alright, not impressive levels, but that's fine. It's fine. Um, nothing left to it but to do it. Alright, so for this battle, we've got to defeat the boss. We've got uh, these brand new enemy types here. These spirits. Uh, they can move wherever they want, basically. Uh, like, where's my zoom function? Yeah, like, they've got huge movement coverage. Um, I don't know what the rules are for how they move, to be honest. Uh, they do use magic attacks, but those magic attacks don't have any bonus effectiveness. Uh, they might have, like, triangle advantage, maybe. Oh, computer, what are you doing? Hold on, I'm gonna see if there's anything I can, like, close to make things run a little better. A little smoother. Alright. I think that actually helped. Um, or, you know what, maybe it's just that there are too many of these things doing weird unique effects that's causing the problem anyway our real boss here Sephiran. uh he's got his own unique light tome uh powerful accurate high crit uh he's got a rewarp staff that lets him just warp anywhere he wants i don't know if he'll really use it he's also got this thing um I don't know what the deal is, it just adds 10 to his defense, so uh, he's resilient, got lots of HP, um, he's also got that mantle skill, which means if I don't attack him with a blessed weapon, he won't take any damage, and also he's going to restore 40 HP every turn. Uh, so the damage I gotta do, I gotta do it all in one turn. And the other thing is that these spirits, uh, it's not, they don't have it listed here, but as long as he's surrounded by these spirits, um, they'll take damage instead of him. So I wanna take out all these spirits while I can, just to make things easier on me. Jeez, computer really doesn't like all this animation going on. That's fine. Soren's stats were maxed out anyway. Um, oh, I remember now. I was wondering why I wasn't seeing any, like, battle animations. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't think the spirits even have animations. Like, full animations for you to see. That's alright. Oh, and I guess this map does have all kinds of uh, assorted tiles for you to take advantage of if you feel so inclined. You now you got your cover, you got healing. Uh, Super cover? What the hell? Plus 15 defense? That's just rude. Got your ward wood over there. So much. Uh, but it will be fine. I mean, the nice thing is that... <laughs> 
My units are so beefy that even if they can't one-shot these spirits, they're not going to go down. Uh... Oh, that's right. I... I read about it and I forgot to bring it up. Um... For some mysterious reason, uh, none of these spirits are going to attack... Uh... Nikaya. Like, at all. It just absolutely refused to. they'll also refuse to uh, attack the heron in your group. Uh, it doesn't matter. Give me something that's a guaranteed hit. There we go. From way downtown. That's okay. Oh. I believe that was an attack, uh, just a random magic attack. Maybe not random, random, but uh, that's the only thing that could hit Ike for that much damage. Uh, Wardwood? Nice try, pal. It's too bad I only have the one use left, but one use is better than none. Now here's the thing about Sanaki's, uh... Here, uh, it's easier if I show it off like this. Uh, so I can target Sephiran, right? Like I said that the spirits around him will take damage for him, which is true, but you can still target him, right? Uh, but not Sanaki. She absolutely refuses to, uh, to target Sephiran. So you can still use her to, like, pick off these spirits here. But other than that, she's not going to be able to uh, really do anything against the boss himself. Uh, let's see here. HP, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I guess I'll heal Ike up there. That's probably a good idea. And good old Har doing what he does best. Just denying enemies counterattacks. Uh, 
Well, let's let Mia try to get in a little fun, maybe. Give me something good, Mia. Give me an Astro or something. Or a Critical, even. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. This is always the, the fun part about... Uh, <laughs> about late-game Fire Emblem bosses, uh, in my opinion. All right, uh, I'm gonna... I'd like Ike to get the finishing blow here. I'm just gonna hope that Rolf doesn't trigger his ability. His Deadeye move. Ah, okay, good. So Sephirin has a hidden Nile somewhere in there. I don't know if that's part of Mantle, um, or anything else here. Uh, but Ike said he's gonna make Sephirin's death as painful as he knew how, so... Uh, here we go. Would have been fun to uh, to get an ether on him, but it was impossible. I should hope he's wounded. say that, but I'm pretty sure you could have walked away at, at any time from this path of his, but whatever. Now, I think this happened in the other two Fire Emblem games I played. Where, like, the last bosses are actually kind of easy to take down in one turn or two turns. Very quickly. Part of me is thinking maybe I should have just done this last time. But, uh, oh well. Still got one more battle to go.